Hey, what's going on? My name is Marcos. I'm a freelance DP based out of the San Francisco Bay Area. In today's video, I wanna show you my favorite way to set up a hair light. Now, most of the time I'm doing corporate interviews and documentaries and I'm rolling with the minimal crew of maybe four or five people, sometimes even just myself or two people. That's it, right? So we're handling the lights, the audio and the camera. So we need to be very efficient. And the way I like to do it now is using RGB tubes that have internal battery. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. These are the tubes I've been using lately. These are the Soonwell Sensei tubes. This is a four footer and two footer. Now these are RGB, but most of the time for the hair lights that I'm, you know, for the, what I'm doing, they're just bicolor. They're anywhere from 3200 Kelvin to uh, 56. That's where usually where I'm, using these lights uh, but you know you, there's a bigger range you can go i believe with this 2600 kelvin to 6000 again i keep it somewhere in between 32 and 56 most of the time i want to show you exactly how to use these now that light does that every time you turn it on and off it just flickers like, like that this uses an internal battery i want to show you take it out you need to take it out in order to charge it once you have it fully charged you put it back in and if you're using it as a hair light like I am, it'll last you all day if you're doing all day interviews because mo most of the time I'm below 10%, you know? So yeah, they'll definitely last you all day. And you know, we can just turn it back on, right? And what I like about this light, again, the, the, everything's internal. There's no need for wires. Uh, although in the bag, which is this one right here, if you need to power it to the wall, you can. It comes with the cables to charge it and also to power it via the, the adapter, right? If you wanted to do that, if you needed to do that. But most of the time, make sure you have plenty of battery. That way you don't have to do that. You'll simplify your life. Um, so nice carrying case. I'm glad they included that in there. Before I had these, I used to use the uh, Quasar Crossfades. <laughs> Let me show you. The problem with these, Oh, so I made my own makeshift uh, case using pipe out of Home Depot. It's in here, it's just more of a hassle to set up. Why? Because the crossfades, you need a dimmer, right? And you need an extension cord. You also need the cable that plugs into the, into the Quasar crossfade, which I've lost. I don't even know where it's at. So that happens quite a bit when you don't have a carrying case, a dedicated carrying case. You lose the stuff that you need in order to use it. And it's just the hassle of having to power it to the wall. It just takes extra time. With this, we can roll without any wires. So let me show you how to set it up. Put this down here. You need a C-stand, of course. You need a, something hefty that's not gonna tip over. Make sure you put a sandbag on it so it doesn't, again, more secure. You need a boom arm like this. This is not super heavy duty, but again, this is not super heavy. So it's a, we can totally roll with this boom arm. There, bring it up. So you also need a gobo head to um, grip this, this uh, connection, or this will grab onto the light. This comes with the light. Uh, if you want to put it away in the bag, you need to take it apart. So there's just one Allen key and, and then a thumb screw and it comes apart. This is very secure. So you just put the gobo head here and then this grips onto the gobo head. I wish this part came with the two footer, but it only comes with the four foot. The, the two footer only comes with the grip, this grip here. Oh, and the ball head, um, which is fine for minimal setup, but it's just more secure to have two, two grip heads and, and to, you know, to grab it like that. And the ball head, my, myself, I'm not a fan of it because it's not strong enough um, to grip it like this. It's just not ideal. All right. I'll let you know if they sell this part separately if you end up buying the two footer. Okay, so we have that. Now bring up the light. And grip, grip. And this grip is proprietary to this light. The Quasar Crossfade comes with this. I believe these are T12 connection, connections that grip on. Also very popular amongst um, tubes, but this one is its own proprietary. 
Oh, and then you also want another counterweight um, sandbag, just so it doesn't tip over once you start booming it out, right? That way you don't get the C-stand in the shot. There it is, you know? Uh, one thing you gotta be aware of is that if this is pretty low on the sh in the shot, I mean, let's say it's out of frame, it might bleed into the lens, so you might get some kind of lens flares. What you can do is two things, raise it up even more, and I, I like to tilt it down like this, so it just showers in the back of the head and on the shoulders. Um, just bring it up more so it doesn't flutter the lens, or you can put a matte box on the lens to prevent any lens flares, so you can do that. Another thing I like to do is, I bought this grid for the for four foot. It'll fit most four foot tubes. Uh, again, I'll have links in the description to all this stuff. I really like this for controlling the spill. So if I have time, I'll pop this out. It folds down like this. It has its own bag. Flip it open, and then you just strap it onto the to the four foot tube. And that's how you can control spill. So the, even this setup. It can be very versatile. You can also use it to rig it from up top to light up a scene as your key light, which uh, brings me to my next point. If you're gonna use this light between 3200 Kelvin and 56, the TM30 scores are pretty good. I used my color meter and the, the fidelity was pretty high. It was above 94, 96. And also the Delta UB, if you use it between 4000 and 5000, it's very minimal Delta UB shift. So it's very accurate. I definitely use it. I would definitely use it for um, as a key light or to light up actors or, or a subjects or talent, whoever it is. Yeah, totally you could use, you know, roll with it. So if you wanna know more about specs, uh, yeah, there's plenty of videos out there you can check out. I just wanna show you, you today how I would use it as a hair light. If you have any questions about this light or anything I forgot to mention, I'm pretty sure that, that I mean, Pretty sure I have questions, but uh, yeah, anything about this specific setup, please let me know down in the comment section. As always, I appreciate you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.